Simulated evolution using a genetic algorithm. Hi everybody, my name is Alex from alexpleasehelp.com. I'm going to be showcasing a Flash app that simulates evolution using a genetic algorithm. In a nutshell, it evolves a car that is able to traverse a simulated terrain. No uh, initial design work is done other than the programming. The final outcome is unknown and I'm going to show you how it works. The general process for uh, genetic algorithms goes like this. In a nutshell, more nutshells, the initial, the initial step Basically, you just generate a bunch of random creatures that have um, parameters that you can mutate. In this case, we're going to evolve a little car, so we need f uh, at least two wheels and some other some other features. In this case, the two features are these red masses here, the two blue wheels, connections between all four objects, and the two red two red wheels. second step would be to let all the creatures that you create run the course. See what happens, does it move, does it just die. The final set of steps goes like this. When all, when all of the creatures in your population have run, you look at, okay, who are the winners? What defines a winner? What defines a loser? In this case, some of the losers are going to die. After the losers die, then you, you select some of the winners and you make them breed, make them have kids. Some of the offspring inherit traits from the parents, plus some random mutations. After all that's done, you go back to step two and repeat the process over and over and over and over again until, you, until you're done geeking out over how cool this is. An offspring in this case is pretty much just the average of two parents, like say, one has a wheel at this position, another one has a wheel in another position. If they mated, the offspring would have a wheel right there in the middle section. Or if, a, or if one of these springs had a certain stiffness, another parent had another stiffness, the offspring would have the average of the two. It's just a very simple way to create offspring. So, in this particular case, with this Flash app that I'm showcasing here, it's not mine. It is on the internet at the website that I showed at the beginning. It's over in the description bar if you want to go check it out, which I suggest you do because it's a lot of fun. It's not mine. It's been on the internet for a long time, and the creator, I have not been able to find him anywhere. He posted this thing, and I really would like to have a chat with him because he says that he'll, he's in the future going to post his code. But from what I've gathered, there are several things that occur and a couple things that I suspect are occurring. You, we know that there are four wheels and they all, they all change diameter and I'll show you that in a second. Each wheel has a connection between the two and they're these spring-like connectors. The known mutating parameters, the four wheels, the six springs, and the initial positions of the X and Y coordinates of each wheel. Later on, as the population uh, evolves, the wheels move in each thing. So I know for a fact that each creature has at least 18 parameters that change as time goes on. I'm not sure if these are the case, but it'd be kind of nifty if they were, like the mass of each wheel, the torque on each motor, or the friction between the the wheel and the ground. I'm not sure, but I suspect they might be there, but I can't tell. But I do know that these are there. So anyway, let's see this thing run. I have a blank browser here. I'm going to just load it up right away. We can see right off the bat it starts generating a bunch of random creatures very quickly. A creature dies if the little red circles 
touch the ground. You can see that one took off there for a second, but every time the red circle touches the ground, the creature immediately dies. That's one way the creature dies. There are There's at least one other way, and we'll get a good one here going in a second. See, these creatures are randomly generated. There's no... or the initial ones. They've already gone through two populations here. I'll explain this graph here in a second. Come on. Death, 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 death. And you can see as they go on, there's a lot of them that share similar traits. That's because the creatures are breeding with each other. The sooner one dies, the sooner it gets off the screen, and then you can see that one will just take off here in a second. Come on. Give it a minute. Anyway, while this is happening, I'll explain what this graph is. Up here, the guy didn't put any units on there. I don't know why, but from what I've gathered on forums, this green line represents... Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, there goes one. This green line represents the average distance that a car travels. This x-coordinate is time. The y-coordinate is distance traveled. And at each time interval, that was a generation. Right here we had a spike because there was just randomly one just kind of took off. There's another spike here. Here's going to be another one. This green line represents the average distance of all 20 uh, creatures in the population. The black line represents the maximum. So on average, this species, if you will, is traveling this average distance. I at least want to get one going before I switch over to the other the other page. All right, here's another spike. They keep keep evolving. Every time that red wheel touches, oh, okay, here's a good one. This one goes. The wheels are kind of tiny, so there's not much torque on the ground, and it bounces around. Forgive me if the video is a little shaky. Let me change the quality. Come on. I have two browsers open with this thing going at the same time, so it's going to be a little shaky. Oh. I'm going to close this one. Anyway, you get the gist already. If you let it run for, like, for about a half hour, you get this. This configuration is pretty much what they all converge to. This big front wheel, a slightly smaller back wheel, and the two red masses are kind of right on top of each other. And there's just a certain combination of spring stiffnesses that just makes the ideal combination. And you can see in this uh, timeline here, there was a huge spike, and then the species just kind of dwindled back the 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 winner of the entire generation just died so there was no really fit car to mutate with and then it picked up and up and up and up and this is just how evolution works benefits just up here and then those who are more fit will pass along their genes to the next generation and it just goes up 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 So that's that. Check out the link in the sidebar. Uh, check out um, my website. I have a lot of free online homework help videos. I just like playing with this little application because I'm a nerd. I like programming and I love evolution. Because it's awesome. <laughs>